Democrats and Republicans shifting their focus to November and to the state Supreme Court. An open seat is up for grabs, so is partisan control of the bench. 13 Action News reporter Josh Group is live this afternoon with the campaigns already underway. Josh. Yeah, Tito Tony, Democrats are hoping that they can flip a seat on the Supreme Court and regain partisan control of the bench for the first time in nearly four decades. But Republican strategy will make that difficult and perhaps even allow the GOP to gain more of an advantage on the state's high court. Democrats are trying to hold on to two seats this November, currently held by Justices Michael Dodley and Melody Stewart. Justice Joseph Dieters, a Republican who was appointed to the court in 2022, is trying to swipe Stewart's seat. He filed to run for her spot on the court and essentially add two more years onto his term. So that leaves his seat open. That will be filled by somebody new. Republicans are confident that they can win these statewide contests. Democrats say they're going all in on these three races. So I think it's important that the state's highest court sides with protecting the constitutional rights of its citizens. We don't have any allegiance to any political party. Our allegiance is solely to the law. I want to do my part to make sure that the rights that are enshrined in the Constitution are available to all Ohioans. Democratic Party officials say they plan to focus heavily on abortion rights in their campaigns for the court. The state GOP chair, chairman tells us that their focus will be on crime and punishment. Tina. All right, Josh, so how will political parties play a role in these elections? We heard from one of the judges there, the justice is saying that that's not our role. Will we see this come up again? Yeah, well, party labels here are uh, still a pretty new concept in Supreme Court races in Ohio. Before 2022, Supreme Court races were nonpartisan. Republicans were the ones who made the change after Democrats made some gains on the court. The GOP ended up sweeping Supreme Court races two years ago. Tina, they hope to do that again this year. The GOP chairman told me today he thinks that party labels are an advantage for Republicans. We'll hear from him and his Democratic counterpart coming up at 530. All right. Thanks, Josh.